Hello! In this video, we are going to go over second position on the cello. So on our instrument, we have different positions for places that we put our fingers and shift or slide between to help expand the range of notes we play. For example, maybe I want to play all the way up into the range of a violin. I can't do that right here in first position. in our cello playing. So today for second position, it's not that crazy. So first position is where we have learned to play. Our first finger has been on the A string on B. One note higher than A on the D string on E. One note higher than D. And if we've learned G string, it's been on A. One note higher than G. For second position, going to be moving our fingers up to cover higher notes. So I'm going to move on the D string. Instead of my first finger being on D, I'm going to move my first finger up to F sharp. So instead of my third finger being on F sharp, now I'm pressing that place on my cello down with my first finger. Play me a first finger F sharp. Ooh, it went a little high. That was high. There we go. Okay. Now my second finger is now over G, where my pinky is. Make sure it's in the right place. You can always match with your G string. It should sound the same. And now, one note higher than G is A. And if I put down my three and my four, I'm going to have that same A as my A string. It is another place to play it. And this is really helpful for example, maybe I have a bunch of A's in a song, but I don't have to go any higher. Instead of having to do a lot of string crossings, I can just stay on one string. And it's going to make my life so much easier. So let's just try a couple notes in second position. So line up your hand. So you're on a first finger, one's on an E. Let's go slide it up to F sharp on our D string. Let's play four F sharps. Second finger, this is a G, four of those. Ready? Go. And add your three and four. Pinky comes down. This is an A. Okay, so let's go. Let's find that F sharp and let's go F, G, A, G, F. Let's get used to using that second finger. Ready, go. Fingers down. Let's get used to this. Okay, so now let's practice connecting those two positions. So when we shift or slide on our cellos, our fingers are going to ride on top of the string and then sink in when they get to that note. So watch, I'm going to go D, E, F sharp, G, A, G, F sharp, E, D. And you're going to see how my finger is going to slide on the string. say three of those. Starting on D, no fingers. Ready, go. Slide back. Left feet. Back up. One more. You can do it. It's okay if 
Maybe if you hear a little slide in there. Maybe a little bit of one on one. Cool. Now, one thing to remember is with our bow, our fingers are now pressing the string down further. We need to make sure that our bow is nice and even. Okay? So take a moment, try a little bow, a bow in second position. Make sure you get a nice clear sound. Okay. Feel free to try this on your other strings. On your A string, your first finger would be on C sharp, second finger D. What's higher than D? E. On your G string, first finger on B, B, C, D. And on your C string, your first finger is on E, E, F, G. Good luck. You are now ready to play in your Essential Elements book, number 83, 4 by 4 in second position, as well as number 86, Ode to Joy, in second position. Good luck.